Okay, so, so what was the, path, what was the path that you took? The path that I took at the time was I went immediately to the Hippocrates Health Institute mm -hmm. in West Palm Beach, Florida. And although I was very aware of much that I learned there, Ryan Clemens really woke my eyes up to the level of toxicity in the world. I didn't realize that it was quite as uh, dramatic as he portrayed it to be. And I immediately changed my, not only my dietary habits, but I also changed everything in my household so that I removed as much of the toxicity from the world as I could possibly. And I also, I also worked emotionally and spiritually very deeply to bring into my life the types of relationships and people and support that I truly needed and observed. Okay. So what, what would be the main uh, dangers, toxins that are in our world that most people just wouldn't know about? Mm. That, that, that you opened your eyes to. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a delete on this after I say it, okay? Okay. Um, because a lot has to do with our belief systems as well, love. And believe it or not, um, even though there are more than 75,000 toxic substances out there today, half of which are carcinogenic in nature, there are people whose livers actually are able to adapt to them and do, and do a lot to prevent them from getting cancer. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preface what I say with that. Um, not only, of course, do we have more than 75,000 chemicals that no one's really tested to understand the full impact of on all life on the planet, but in addition to that, we have had the release of depleted uranium in our atmosphere, particularly since the first Gulf War. Mm -hmm. Depleted uranium um, is not depleted. It is highly, highly radioactive, and it is, it's considered a weapon of mass destruction. And in fact, the U.S. military swore off of it for its use for many, many years because it was such a deplorable genocidal weapon yep. uh, because, of, because of the radiation. And then, of course, most recently, God is blessed. Uh, Fukushima and what's happened over in Japan, I mean, it's just utter insanity. Um, so I would say the chemicals as well as now the release of untold amounts of radiation into our atmosphere. I believe Gabriel Cousins once um, was able to determine that something like, and this is before the disaster recently in Japan, something like 400,000 Hiroshima bombs worth of radiation had been released into our atmosphere just since the use of depleted uranium in wow. wars over the past 10 years. Yeah. yeah. So, what, so those are two those are, those are enough. Okay. So what, what's the solution? How do we uh, protect ourselves from, from these sorts of things? Chlorophyll, 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 more chlorophyll. Okay. <laughs> It real. I mean, it is the lifeblood of the planet. I mean, truly, truly it is. There is a reason why Gaia has made everything so green in the majority of places on our planet and why she covers, you know, miles and miles and miles of fields with incredible grasses. It's because chlorophyll itself is one of the consummate healers of all time. The constituents, the constituent parts of chlorophyll are very similar to human blood mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. only difference is a molecule of magnesium in the case of chlorophyll versus a molecule of iron in the case of human blood. Right. And so you are literally rebuilding your blood and pure, rich, new, fresh, vibrant blood, what does it do? clears everything out because that's the body's natural way of being. The body's way of being is to be healthy. It's not to be unhealthy, but you must give it the right nutri nutrients. So start eating a lot of leafy green vegetables. Start eating uh, algaes from the cleanest sources that you can find them. Um, start eating everything green that you can. The rich, rich colored vegetables and fruits are, are the best. But lots and lots and lots of green. Okay. 